Good morning, Friday the 16th of August. Um, as you can tell by my jacket, I uh, fixed my motorcycle last night and I will be riding to work again, which is kind of pleasant. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm probably locked down this uh, bike uh, that I'm going to go take a look at in a couple days in Toronto. It's pretty exciting to me. A little bit bigger of an engine. I think I've talked about it in a couple of the blogs, so I won't bore you with it again, but i um, kind of excited that I don't have to worry about that so much now. Um, so what I wanted to speak with you today about is um, priorities. Uh, it goes a little bit with the routine uh, blog that uh, I'll link um, down below. Um, but priorities are an important part of how you're able to keep with your routines and how you're able to uh, progress, really, uh, in life um, and move yourself into the person that you want to be. That's, that's really the basic core of the matter. It's, it's, it's not uh, rocket science. Um, so it's really easy or doesn't take any energy anyway to... Uh, you know, uh, be rushing out the door at the last minute, uh, to be uh, not really paying too much attention to your surroundings, and uh, to not really be present in life, I guess the easiest way to put it. Um, if you prioritize your tasks and your time uh, effectively and proactively, uh, you'll find that uh, Everything else kind of falls into place. So, um, I mean, again, it sounds like common sense and it seems silly to talk about it, but if you want to get in better shape or be healthier um, and you decide you want to exercise, um, don't try to shoehorn it in to your already hectic schedule. Uh, make it a priority. Uh, go to sleep half an hour earlier, wake up half an uh, wake up half an hour earlier, and work out. Uh, you know, if you want to sit more, um, make the time to sit. Don't uh, don't think that don't try to sort of shoehorn it in in the middle of things. I mean, it's a good way to start. It's a good way to to start the practices to see if you're you know able to uh, able to dedicate yourself to it. Is to to take that five minutes when you can. And those five-minute sections are, are glorious, but actually prioritizing it and making it a making it a priority in your life, make it make it something that is it is essential for you to do, um, and you'll see great reward come from it. Um, I wanted to speak to priority uh, today because I used to have this amazing routine. Not that I don't have a, a, a pretty good one now, but. Um, I, I used to have this really diligent routine and I, I saw so much benefit from it in such a short period of time. It was a really great kickstart for me. And, uh, and it's also a great motivation to get yourself back onto that same path. Um, and uh, I've spoken a little bit as well uh, on my blog about the Bushi Code, uh, which is sort of like the, uh, the, the warrior's way uh, um, from the Bushido Code of, of Japan, of feudal Japan, which is sort of vaguely linked in with some Zen practice and um, that's what gives you or gives me anyway a very strict moral code and I think that by prioritizing that in my life it's not something that I uh, spend time on but it's definitely something that I spend a lot of time thinking about and a lot of energy uh, sort of um, manifesting in my life so it, it, it's a priority it's not really something that I have to actively spend a lot of time on it's just something I have to think about and for me it's always been there I just never had a name for it so now having this really strict sense of some uh, of this moral code I guess of which I try to live my life and again it's an ideal uh, some of it is pretty difficult to do uh, seven virtues are not exactly the simplest thing to live by um, but they, again, they give me guidelines to try to attain to, to try and aspire to. And by prioritizing that aspiration, that allows me to uh, better my life. 
It allows me to be more strong, more confident, uh, all the things that I want to be in my life. So that's how priority can, uh, can manifest itself um, in something where it's just not necessarily a time-based thing, but it's just an energy or mindfulness thing. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably uh, be getting myself back into my more strict routine as the, as the uh, days start to become shorter and it becomes colder. It's a little bit easier to not just stray and stay uh, at home uh, researching and meditating and uh, getting myself back into it. I love, I love winter for that. Uh, it really lets you, uh, really lets you explore yourself. Anyway, uh, if I don't speak to you this weekend, uh, have an awesome one and, uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. Namaste.